Hi everyone, welcome to English Digest. I'm Tiffany, and this is Sam. Hi everyone, welcome. So, Sam, have you watched any good movies recently? Good movie recently? I、uh, I don't recall, but <laughs> <laughs> but that there is one that、uh, I really want to see, but、mm-hmm. I haven't checked out yet. It's it. Oh, the one with the creepy clown. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think I can watch that movie with you. I don't really like clowns. <laughs> All right, so、um, let's take a look at our translation article for today.、Um, I think we will be talking a little bit about clowns.、Ooh. <laughs> Not my favorite, but anyways, let's take a look together. All right, so let's take a look at our sentence in Chinese first, and then what we can do is we can、uh, look at it in English. Okay, 马上呢来看一下我们今天第一个 part A single sentence 要来翻译什么样的句子。有一位小丑试着透过做出好笑的表情来吸引人们的注意。Mm, okay. Well, in English, we can translate it to: There is a clown trying to attract people's attention by making funny faces.、Mm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. What else can a clown do? Well, they said there is a clown trying to attract people's attentions by making funny faces. Now, we can also say、uh, by folding balloons、mm-hmm. or by、uh, juggling four oranges、uh, or、yes. four balls, <laughs> doing some tricks. So, however, we see that in this sentence,、um, we started. Out by saying there is a clown trying to do something.、Mm-hmm. Now, the grammar here is there, okay, and okay. then you use a be verb, so is are, and then you add a verb. ing or a verb in a p- in the past present tense. Okay, 首先呢，看一下这个句子呢，我们是在讲说，因为它是在讲说这个现在发生的事情，所以我们用现在简单是表示这个小丑现在正在做这件事情，现在存在的这个状态了。那我们看到这边呢，这个句子我们说那里有一位小丑，大家呢应该都会这个用法 ，there 加上 be 动词加上名词的句型哦，就表示这个某处存在的什么东西。比方说呢 ，there is a pen， 那边呢有一支笔，这样非常简单。那注意到我们单复数名词呢，就以后面的名词而定了。比方说 ，there is a pen， 因为是一支笔，我们用 is。如果说有很多支笔的话 ，there are many pens， 我们呢就用复数的 be 动词 are。那在这边呢，我们就讲说了这个呃，这个句型呢，他说 there is a clown。我们后面呢要补充说明他现在在做什么样的动作，所以呢，我们用分分词来表示了。当你呢是主动的动作，例如我们课文这边的这个主动哦 ，there is a clown trying。OK， 他正在尝试，因为他是主动在尝试，所以我们用 v i n g 动名词的形式。假如说是被动语态的话呢，我们可以用这个呃 v p p， 就是呢过去分词的方式来讲了。好，我们这边。举个例子哦 ，There was a man selling hot dogs at the corner a while ago, but he's gone now. 刚才呢，有位男子在这个转角卖热狗，不过他现在离开。There was a man. 这里呢，刚刚有一个人，他在做什么呢 ？Selling hot dogs. 我们后面就用分词来修饰呢，他正在做一些什么样的事情。Mm-hmm. So a while ago, I said the clown was trying to attract people's attention. It's not going to get my attention for sure. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, when you want someone to notice you or you、uh, notice something, we can use the word grab or catch or draw. So, for example, we can say that movie poster grabbed my attention.、Mm-hmm. Okay, it really attracted my attention. That's what we can say. Or the shiny new car caught my attention. I'm trying to draw attention to myself. So all of these words, grab, catch, draw, all mean to kind of attract as well. Okay, so we have here, this word, "attract people's attention." This word, "attention," we can use "attention." 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 All right. So,、um, shall we move on to our second sentence? Okay. 马上能看到我们第二个句子哦。我们继续在讲这个有一点可怕的小丑。他说呢，看到小丑的表情的时候呢，人们忍不住大笑。Okay, not the kind of reaction that I might get from <laughs> me, but we can say in English: seeing the clowns' faces, people can't help laughing out loud. Okay. Well, to be fair, clowns don't have to, you know, look like. It or you don't have to paint a lot of makeup on your no, face. No, 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 no. Sometimes clowns can look funny as well. They don't have to dress that scary. 
。好，所以呢，我们赶快看一下我们这个句子的翻译哦。本句前半的部分呢，我们是使用了这个分词构句的用法了。那其实呢，我们原本是可以用副词子句的用法。副词子句呢，其实大家非常熟悉的，就是我们说当什么时候发生了什么事情，我们会用 when 或是 while。比方说呢 ，when people see the clown's face, they can't help laughing out loud。OK， 我们是用 when 这个副词子句。但现在在这边，我们把它变词了，分成分词构句哦。我们是呢，首先将这个连接词 when 去掉，去掉之后呢。我们这个前后两句的主词相同的时候呢，我们可以省略副词子句的主词。OK， 这个是什么意思呢？比方说呢，我们前后主词是相同的，我们呢可以讲说，比方说我们举个例子 ，Turning out the light, Erica laid her head on the pillow and soon fell asleep. Erica 关掉灯之后，头靠在枕头上，很快就睡着了。因为呢，我们前后的这个句子呢，我们是一样的主词哦，所以呢，我们可以在前面呢，把这个前面的分词构句的部分呢，把主词给拿掉，那呢，把我们的动词换成 ving， 因为呢，它是主动 ，Erica 主动把这个灯关掉了。那如果是被动的时候，我们怎么讲呢？我们举个。例子 ，located on a high hill, the castle commands an excellent view of the surrounding countryside. OK， 那座城堡呢位于这个高耸的山丘上，因此呢，它可以看到这个乡间很棒的这个 view， 很棒的景观。Located， 因为呢它是被建造哦，它是位于这个很高的山丘上，所以呢，我们这边用 located 就是一个过去分词来表示这个城堡它是被动的被建在那个地方。那前后主词一样都是 the castle， 所以我们前面分词过去把主词省略，跟前面是一样的用法。嗯哼。And then we also saw another grammar pattern here. It says, "People can't help laughing out loud." Now, "can't help" what we do is we have but and then plus a verb. It means you don't really want to, but then it's just your body's natural re- reaction. So, after watching the magician's trick, I couldn't help but ask myself how it was done. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's a natural reaction that you have.、Um, we can also use "can't help oneself." Okay, oneself is talking about you, the person. So I can't help myself when I see my favorite dessert.、Oh. <laughs> okay, so I know that I probably shouldn't eat that, but it looks so delicious that. I want to eat it. It's my natural reaction that okay. I would do it. Okay, so we, 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 Like、um, snacks, snacks for sure. <laughs> yeah, especially when I'm at work. Uh huh. Yeah, you just can't help but eat them all. You can't help、yeah. it when you go to Seven <laughs> Eleven. You want to buy them all. True, true, true. That's exactly what happened. <laughs>、uh, all right, so let's take a quick break right here, and let's come back for part B. All right, so let's take a look at Part B. It's our single sentence again. Let's first take a look at it in Chinese. Okay, 台中的人口在七月底前已经超过高雄的人口。嗯哼。All right, so in English we can say the population of Taizong had exceeded that of Kaohsiung by the end of July. Okay, 马上看到这句的时态非常特别哦，它是用了这个。过去完成式有来表达已经完成的动作。过去完成式呢，就是用 had 后面加上 P P 过去分词的方法。那它呢，可以表达在这个时间点以前呢，已经发生过的事情哦，动作已经完成。比方说呢，我们举个例子 ：Once we had washed the cups and plates, we left them in the dish rack to dry. OK， 在这个时间点之前呢，我们已经完成了这个杯盘呢，已经都洗好了，所以我们用 had washed。或者是呢，我们可以讲说动作或状态呢，已经持续了一段时间呢。Daniel had lived in In that neighborhood for several years before he moved away. So, in that before he moved away, in this time before, he had already lived for several years, and this thing is now over. So, we use the past tense had lived. Okay, or you can also say that I have lived in the past or I have not lived in the past. Mm-hmm. We also see that the clause.、Um, we also see the clause that here, and I know sometimes it's hard to think whether to use that or those. But we just remember that is for singular nouns, and those are for plural nouns. 
Let's see our sentences. The drinks in Seven Eleven are far cheaper than the drinks available in Starbucks. Now we replace the drinks with those, so we can say the drinks in Seven Eleven are far cheaper than those. Okay, again, those drinks available in Starbucks. OK， 在这边呢，我们用了指示代名词的用法 ，that 和 those， 它可以代替呢前面提过的名词。那注意到，我们单数呢就用 that， 复数呢就用 those， 非常简单的用法。好，我们马上看到第二句了。考虑到人口成长，市政府正尽力、尽全力建造更多的公共设施。嗯哼 ，So in English it says, given the population growth, the city government is making every effort to build more. Public facilities. All right. So here we see the grammar pattern of given plus a noun. Now in this sentence, the noun is the population growth. Now you can also use considering as well. So considering plus a noun. So considering the population growth, we can use it in a sentence like this. Given the scale of the election defeat, the party leader had no choice but to resign at once. Okay. 除了刚刚 Tiffany 补充的这个考虑到的用法之外，在这边呢，我们再补充。一下，尽全力不遗余力哦。这些在英文里面我们应该怎么翻译呢？在课文里面呢，我们是用了这个 make every effort to do something， 后面加上原形动词的这个用法，这个呢就表示你尽全力。那呢，这个用法呢，我们也可以非常简单，比方说 do your best 或是 try your best， 尽你的全力哦。那这边呢，再补充一个用法是 spare no effort to do something， 就是呢不遗余力哦，没有留下任何力量，用尽我所有的力气是一样的意思、哦。我们举个例子 ，the police chief。Eve、said his men would spare no effort to catch the criminals. 警察局长呢说他的手下会尽全力逮到罪犯 ，spare no effort to do something 不遗余力。Mm, and I see that Taichung and a lot of cities in like Tainan or like Gaoshong, they're all doing really, really well. With、um, I think there's a lot of new restaurants opening there. Yes, it's a lot yes, of fun、yes. places to go. People are kind of moving out of Taipei and going into these places. Now. <laughs> That's a good thing. So in、yeah. Taipei, we won't get too crowded. Yeah,、like、and <laughs> plus we can also visit other cities、yes. as well. Wonderful cities in Taiwan. <laughs> all right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with part C of our article. All right, welcome to Part C, and today we're going to take a look at a paragraph. And the topic of this paragraph is the man of the golden hour, Suraj Prakash Vaid. Okay. Do you know who or what this is about? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. We can read it together because、okay. I'm not too clear as well. It says the golden hour refers to the first sixty minutes after a road traffic accident. It's critical that victims receive medical aid within that time. Oh, okay. So, we, 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 以内获得这个医疗救助的话呢，他们因伤致死的可能性呢，将提高百分之五十。That's a really high percentage.、Mm. Okay, next it says no one knows this better than Suraj Prakash Vaid, a taxi driver from India. Okay,、oh. 没有人呢比来自印度的这一位计程车司机呢，他的中文翻译是苏拉杰普拉卡什维德更清楚这一点。Mm, okay, let's see what he does. How does he help people? It says he tries to get to accident sites as soon as possible to ensure victims get immediate help. What a nice guy! Yeah, very kind. Okay, he tries to get to the scene as soon as possible to ensure that the victims get immediate help. Here, to add an extra point, how do we say ensure? We can use ensure to mean ensure victims. Then add the verb get immediate help. Ensure that the victims who are injured get immediate help. Ensure that the victims who are injured get immediate help. Ensure that the victims who are injured get immediate help. 
Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna take a look at the sentence that we need to translate. Okay, 下一句呢就说这这个在印度呢非常的重要，因为很多人不帮助受害者，唯恐这可能会造成麻烦。Oh, oh, okay. Well, in English it says this is important in India, as many people don't help victims for fear that it might result in trouble. Okay, so what is a victim? A victim is basically a person who has probably been attacked, they're injured, or they're harmed by an Another person, so you can be a victim of the fire, or、um, a victim of scammers,、mm -hmm. okay, or something even worse, a victim of abuse,、mm -hmm. okay. So abuse is like、um, maybe your husband or your wife or your parents. They abuse you and they hit you all the time. You can be a victim of that, and I think this actually happens a lot around the world a、mm -hmm. lot. Okay, so in English, there's a term called the bystander effect. Hey, have you heard of that before? No. <laughs> okay. Well, the bystander effect is.、Um, well, let's first start. A bystander is a person who stands by and looks. So there are people in a crowd.、Uh, if they're in a crowd, they're just people who probably look at things. They don't do much. So the bystander effect means that people are less likely to help. If another, if other people are around,、oh, so、okay. if someone is injured and there's other people around, they don't do anything because they might think, oh, maybe someone else will step in or they might do something, or they might simply just be afraid to act. OK， 所以呢，这个句子呢，我们解释一下哦。这个呢，就是说，当呢有人群的时候呢，事实上这个人呢，有这个理论呢，就是这个人呢是不愿意去帮助这些受害者，因为呢，当其他有人更多人在旁边的时候，因为你可能会觉得说，哎，呃，反正他会去帮他，啊，或者是哎，反正我干嘛去帮他？我跟他又不认识，我干嘛扯这个麻烦？所以呢，在印度呢，这个情况呢更为严重了。Mm -hmm. So, if you're the type of person to always step in and always take action, well, we can call you a good Samaritan, and it just means you're very helpful and you try to do as much as you can. So,、mm. we're kind of talking about、um, the bystander effect a little bit here. Okay, so then. 呃，撇开我们刚刚讲的那些，我们先看到我们这这个翻译的剧情哦，在这个剧情后面呢，有讲到这个唯恐，唯恐就是很怕发生什么事情的这个用法了。在这边呢，我们句子是用 for fear， for fear 后面呢可以加上 that， 再加上这个一个。一个、呃、完整的句子哦，那呢，你也可以使用 for fear 后面加上 of， 再加上名词。那名词呢，我们可以用 v i n g 来修饰它，或是 of 后面直接加上 v i n g。我们举个例子哦 ，Terry didn't stay at the party too late for fear that he would miss the last M R T home. OK， 泰瑞呢没有在派对上待太晚，因为他害怕呢，他怕说他会错过最后一班回家的捷运。那这边呢，我们这个 that 是用来连接 for fear 后面的句子，这边呢是可以省略没有问题的。那另外呢。我们刚刚讲说 ，for fear 后面可以直接加上 of， 再加上动名词。Joanne doesn't dare to go into that old wood shell for fear of spiders. Okay, 她因为害怕会有蜘蛛 ，for fear of spiders. Mm, okay. Next, we can see that、um, we have another grammar pattern here, and we can say that、um, to cause or to result in contribute here just means all to let something happen. So you can replace these words. So for fear that it might result in trouble. Okay. So we can use instead of result, and we can use cause or contribute or bring about. So for example, we can say the actor's wonderful performance in the movie resulted in him winning. An Academy Award. Okay, so people are afraid to help because they're also afraid that they might <laughs> produce more trouble. Yes. All right. So we said that next in the paragraph it says Vay takes that responsibility on himself, filling out paperwork and appearing in court to give evidence if necessary. Wow. Okay. Vay 的呢，他自己呢承担这个责任哦，承担责任。我们说 take the responsibility on oneself， 承担这个责任。他做什么事情来承担责任呢？他会帮你填写书面文件，必要时呢还会帮你出庭作证。And then over the years, Vade has gained a reputation for helping victims. Therefore, many taxi companies and rickshaw drivers carry Vade's number so they can call him when a traffic accident happens. 嗯，多年来 ，over the years， 多年来呢，韦德因为帮助受害者而赢得了这个很好的名声哦。因此，许多计程车公司和人力车司机呢，他们都会带着韦德的电话号码。这样一来，当发生交通事故的时候呢，他们就可以打电话给他。
Uh huh. And then here we see another sentence to translate. Okay, 韦德一接到电话呢，他就会赶到现场帮助受伤的人。Right in English, it says the moment Wade receives a call, he rushes to the scene to help the injured people. Okay, 这边呢，我们看到一怎么样就怎么样的这个常见句型呢，在这边呢，我们是用 the moment. Okay. Wade receives a call. 当他接到电话的时候，后面逗点再接上一个完整的句子，表示说呢，一怎么样就怎么样哦。我们呢可以再举个例子了。The moment Eddie walked into the room, all his friends shout surprise. OK， 当这个艾迪走进房间的时候，他所有的朋友就大喊惊喜。这边 moment 呢，我们也可以换成 minute 或是 instant。比方说 ，the minute Eddie walked into the room， 或是 the instant Eddie walked into the room 都可以。那另外呢，我们这边补充给大家。大家哦，假如说呢，我们这个前后的主词是相同的，比方说像我们刚刚举例是不同的嘛 ，OK， 前面的是艾迪走进房间，后面是他的朋友大叫 surprise。那呢，假如说是前后都是一样的，那呢，我们可以用这个句型 upon upon 后面加上 v i n g。Okay. Upon realizing that there was an in intruder in the house, I called the police. 一察觉到房子里面有人入侵的，我就打电话报警啊。察觉到有入侵者的人呢，是我。打电话给警察人也是我。那我们就可以用 upon 加上 v i n g， 逗号后面再加上一个完整子句的这个句型喽。All right. So the moment Vay receives a call, what does he do? He rushes to the scene. Now, when、uh, rush here means to quickly do something or to get somewhere. So we can say Harry rushed to the hospital. After his wife's water broke, that means he quickly went to the ho- hospital because his wife is having a baby. Congratulations! Yay! <laughs> or、um, if you are late, you wake up too late for work <laughs> or for school. We can say, "I rushed to school because I'm running late." Now we can also use "he jumped into action" as well because "jump into action" means you really、um, kind of get in there and you act immediately. So we can say, "They jumped into action to help the in." People. All right. Let's continue reading. It says, "Vade has received both awards in cash prizes from India's government, but he says it's all about saving lives." I do what I have to do, and will continue this until I die. He says. Okay, Wade 呢，他已经获得了印度政府颁发的奖状和奖金，但他说呢，这一切都是为了挽救生命哦。他说，我做我该做的，而且直到我死去之前呢，我都会继续这么做。嗯、hmm, ，I think we need more people like that around、yes. the world, or we need a system where um people can react faster. I think to accidents and stuff like that. Yes, yes. All right, so let's take a quick break and. We'll be right back. Unit Nine Translation, November Sixteenth. There is a clown trying to attract people's attention by making funny faces. Seeing the clown's faces, people can't help laughing out loud. The population of Taizong had exceeded that of Gaoshong by the end of July. Given the population growth, the city government is making every effort to build more public facilities. The golden hour refers to the first sixty minutes after a road traffic accident. It's critical that victims receive medical aid within that time. If they don't, they are fifty percent more likely to die from their injuries. No one knows this better than Suraj Prakash Vade, a taxi driver from India. He tries to get to accident sites as soon as possible. To ensure victims get immediate help, this is important in India, as many people don't help victims for fear that it might result in trouble. Vay takes that responsibility on himself, filling out paperwork and appearing in court to give evidence if necessary. Over the years, Vay has gained a reputation for helping victims. Therefore. Many taxi companies and rickshaw drivers carry Vade's number, so they can call him when a traffic accident happens. The moment Vade receives a call, he rushes to the scene to help the injured people.
Veid has received both awards in cash prizes from India's government, but he says it's all about saving lives. I do what I have to, and will continue this until I die. He says. So Sam, what would you do if you saw someone hurt or injured? Okay, I probably would call emergency or call nine one one or call the police. Because even though we had lots of like, I say education, like、yeah. how you help people when they're injured during, like, say, in school or in the army. But、yeah. the thing is, you never practice that, so、uh-huh. you've never done that to a person before. So it's actually quite scary.、Yeah. What if I? I, I'm trying to help you, but what if I you know do things wrong? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I probably would just call the emergency and、uh, that the professionals do. <laughs> yeah, I think actually that's better because、um, as at least you called someone, you called for help,、yeah. and because、um, I, I guess like a lot of us aren't confident in treating first aid,、mm-hmm. so I think it's better, of course, to leave it to the professionals. Unless you can try to do something small to help them, like if they're bleeding a lot. Maybe I would just try to help、ah, yeah. them stop the bleeding yes, or yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. But if it's something too complicated, <laughs> I would be kind of scared to do it too. And I would, of course, I think do the same thing, same as you. Call the police first, and or call the ambulance nine one one first, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so that's all the time <laughs> that we have for today.、Uh, we'll see you guys very soon. I'm Tiffany, and I'm Sam. Bye. Bye.